Hello viewers, welcome to Civil World 2.0 YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about overlay attachment commands. Uh, generally, these commands uh, we are using AutoCAD, Civil 3D, Plan 3D, and Revit, and a lot of uh, Autodesk products. Let's get started. Overlay creates a link to the XRF drawing in your drawing. It means we, uh, while importing or uh, XRFing another file to current project, it acts uh, only xref external reference file only attachment save as the copy of the xref drawing in your drawing actually uh, attachment means uh, while we are importing linking another files to current model means it is also acting current model file look like uh, it is acting current model file this is the two options which we are do, uh, which we are going to talking about uh, overlay and attachment. Here three files, three drawings, and here nested files. This is the project file. While while linking XRef one two three files to nested file, uh, we are using if we are using overlay this element it will show here. First step it will show. Uh, if you are using overlay or attachment this element it will show here this three elements it will show here and if you go to another second step means it won't see it uh, can't see actually this is the overlay command uh, you which we are used and here also which we are used overlay commands uh, generally nested file means it has a lot of uh, drawing files uh, linked in the current model file so uh, in attachment file uh, same workflow we are using attachment instead of overlay com uh, overlay option referenced uh, reference type option so uh, if we are linking attachment file means it will show these elements uh, it will show in this nested file project and if we are linking another project file or uh, another uh, whatever if you linking means it will show all the elements uh, this element origin is this one it is visible here and it will also be visible here let's go to software so this is the civil 3d so this is the nested, mm, the nested drawing I already created three files so these are all the that uh, three files I am linking now via external reference attaching uh, external reference uh, current, uh, currently I am using overlay option If you use scroll bar double click means uh, it is a fit screen option it will show that uh, three external reference elements to this current model I'm saving this file and open new one file this is a new file drawing num uh, drawing to now I am xrefing to this uh, nested family into current model this is the uh, drawing 242 same I am using overlay only if we are using overlay means we can't see that uh, external reference but we can see it is linked here it is uh, using reference type as a uh, overlay option I am going to detach this file I am going to uh, I am going to use this nested file now go to xref and uh, detach all files and attach the three files now I am using uh, I am going to using attachment command 
I linked here and all the elements it will show here again I will save this file this is the new file again I am linking here This is the file 243. I'm uh, I'm going to link reference type as a attachment. Okay. So drawing two is a drawing two already here name is two uh, that's why it is not coming. Okay, I will close and uh, open new one model. It is also drawing three. Already except name as uh, drawing three. This drawing number is sorry, drawing name is uh, drawing four. If we are linking as attachment command, it will show all the elements here. Now you can see all the elements it will show here. Actually, I I imported this file only but it has uh, three files so while attaching uh, while using reference type as a attachments it will come uh, several uh, several step okay we are going to see revit as well so this is the nested file I already created three files So file one, file two, file three. Okay. Same time we can't uh, insert with three files. So this is the three three external files so go to insert manage links here uh, here you can see uh, linking files this is a status loaded reference type is the uh, overlay I will save this file and I will open new file And I will close nested file so this this thing central uh, no needed now I will hide and uh, this craft region general we don't we don't want so I hide it now I am going to link that nested file to current file this is the file nested file 247 while linking into the current file means it is already overlay so this message it will come so we can't see it is uh, automatically automatically disappear here if you go 3d it will it will it won't see If you use uh, scroll squirrel button uh, double click means fit to screen of uh, shortcut 
so we can see this uh, files so this symbol indicates overlay option so I am going to open this file first reload this file and open now this three file is available here go to manage link uh, shortcut is a uh, ml here select all the files changes attachment just ok and again save save and close now here you can reload here or go to insert below uh, manage links here select this file and reload or reload from this is the second step we are linking uh, overlay or attachment whatever all element it will show here so it will come like this so this is the first step uh, we can call first step uh, this is the second step we can bring uh, nested file into more than uh, more steps so workflow is same I hope this video going to crack your interview for more videos please subscribe uh, like please uh, share your friend circle if you have any doubts comment and comment section below I will upload your doubt related videos in another videos thanks for watching Rolls-Royce Phantom You cannot go wrong with Rolls-Royce Phantom if you want the world's finest and most luxurious car. The Phantom is instantly recognizable due to its signature Rolls-Royce design language and the spirit of ecstasy mounted on the front center. The luxurious theme continues both inside and outside the car, though. It portrays an essence of classic luxury which sets it apart from other vehicles of its class. A car as unique as the Phantom obviously offers plenty of premium options, such as a starlight headliner, completely bespoke interior, electrically operated doors, and 130 kilograms worth of soundproofing material installed throughout the whole vehicle, which makes the cabin as serene as it gets. The 6.75-liter V12 engine puts out 570 horsepower in quite a subtle manner, which is good enough to overtake anyone, but also comfortable so that you don't get a sudden jerk. All in all, the Phantom is the most luxurious a sedan can ever get.